Hello, uh, this question is about Darcy's law. The question is an incompressible fluid flows through a porous cylindrical shell with inner and outer radio uh, R1 and R2 respectively under steady state conditions. At these surfaces, the pressures are known to be P1 and P2 respectively. The length of the cylindrical shell is H. Find I pressure distribution. Uh, Second part of the question is radial fluid velocity and the third part is mass rate of flow W with the unit of kilogram per second. There is a hint here that is for the flow of a steady state incompressible fluid through porous medium, the equations of continuity in the cylindrical coordinates are expressed by uh, the derivative of RQ with respect to R equal to zero, in which Q is the Darcy velocity. Okay, this is an important hint because you can start the solution using this hint that is uh, D over dr time, the, times rq, or in other words, the derivative of rq with respect to r is equal to zero. Therefore, here, if you take the integral, you can write rq is equal to a constant. Therefore, q is equal to c1 over r. Uh, we know from Darcy's law that q is equal to minus k mu dp over dr, okay? Uh, so you can basically equate these two expression that is C1 over R will be equal to minus K mu dP over dr. If you rearrange this equation, you can write C1 times dr, you bring dr on this side, divided by R minus K mu dP. Okay, now you can take the integral from each side of this equation that will be equal to C1, the integral of dr over R will be equal to ln R plus a constant C2 will be equal to minus k mu integral of dp is equal to p, okay? This is uh, the same as writing it as d1 uh, ln r plus d2 uh, is equal to minus p because I can multiply each side of this equation by mu divided by k and name the new constant by d1 and d2. So here, we basically have the distribution of the pressure but we need to calculate the value of d1 and d2. For that, we have uh, two boundary conditions. The first boundary condition is that we know that uh, at R equal to R1, we know P is equal to P1. Therefore, here you can write, you can write D1 ln R, ln R1 plus D2 is equal to P1. The second boundary condition we have is that we know that at, at R equal to R2, we know P is equal to P2. Therefore, if, if in this equation I put R equal to R2, I will get D1 ln R2 plus D2 will be equal to, here there was a minus sign, sorry, will be equal to minus P2. So now I have, uh, I have two equations and two unknown, D1 and D2. I can solve this equation simply and calculate the value of D1 and T, D2. And the equation here as well, I have minus P is equal to that. If I substitute the calculated value of D1 and D2 into this equation and, uh, and simplify the equation, basically, it's basically algebra, I will eventually obtain, at the end, I will obtain P minus P1 divided by P2 minus P1 equal to ln R over R1 divided by ln uh, R2 over R1. And that's the solution to the part one of this uh, question. The second part is radial flow velocity, okay? And for the radial flow velocity, basically we know Darcy's law, Q is equal to minus K mu dP over dr. All you need to do is just take the derivative of this expression with respect to r, because P is a function of r. And if you do that, that will be equal to minus, uh, minus K, mu r times p2 minus p1 divided by ln r2 divided by r1, okay? Uh, all, I need, uh, all I did here is take the derivative of p with respect to r and plug it in this equation. And the third part of the equation was mass rate of flow w with the unit of kilogram per uh, second, okay? And to calculate the mass uh, rate of flow with the unit of kilogram per second, uh, that is W, you need to uh, basically multiply the volumetric flux by the density. And the Q, the capital Q, is equal to uh, 
uh, Q, the dorsi velocity times the area, that's the lateral area of the cylinder times the uh, density, okay? And you have already calculated the dorsi, dorsi uh, velocity, that is this one, okay? So you need to multiply that by the density and the, by the lateral area of the cylinder, that is 2 pi r times uh, h. And if you plug it there, if you do that, then you, you will, you will uh, the final answer will be 2 pi uh, h k times p2 minus p1 times rho divided by mu ln r2 divided by r1. And that is the solution to this uh, question.